Hello and welcome to a new adventure. And again, we're continuing our Queensbury Lines videos. Welcome back to the series. So in this video, we have just left Denholm Station and we're now making our way around to the other side of the Doe Park Tunnel, which is the tunnel that immediately started beyond Denholm Station. So you would have seen in the last video we ended at the station with some drone shots and you could see the entrance to that tunnel. Now it was blocked off at the Denholm side, we did check. Now this next section beyond the Doe Park Tunnel is rather messy. So what I'm going to do before we get cracking is just cut to a map just so I can show you what's happening on this side. So first of all you can see here we've got the Doe Park Tunnel. So this is the one immediately beyond the Denholm station. Now it was blocked up at this end here and also blocked up at the other side as we found out. Then you've got this small section of tunnel here. Now this is not a tunnel, it's actually a cut and cover arch. I'll show you more of that in the video shortly. And then there's another tunnel here. Again, this is not an actual tunnel. It's all very confusing. But again, you will see this in the video shortly. And then you have a bridge just there. So we will end the part with Paul and Rebecca Whitewick at that bridge there. And then we're going to cut to today where I'm going to continue the route from there towards Wilsdon Station. So let's get cracking. So here we are again. This is two years ago and I'm with Paul and Rebecca Whitewick. Now you will see Paul a lot in this footage, but you won't see Rebecca. She was there, but she was actually getting other shots just out of shot of camera and behind us. So she's the one following us around, getting all those good shots for their channel. So you won't actually see her in the video. So here we are heading towards the Doe Park Tunnel. So this is the other side from the station. And as you can see, it's locked up and sealed. We can't get in there. So this is the first cut and cover tunnel that I showed you on the map. You can just see the Denholm Station or the Doe Park Tunnel portal just beyond it there. Now this cut and cover tunnel, like I said a minute ago, is called an inverted bridge. And the reason is, if you look at the roof, you can see the arch there. But it's also replicated in the floor as well, as we spotted as, as we were walking through the tunnel. Now on the day, me and Paul were speculating as to why that would be. And since then, I found out we were absolutely right. It's basically because of the steep banking on the right hand side there. When they were building the line, they had a lot of trouble with rockfall and mud, especially when it got wet coming down the hillside and water as well. So what they did to strengthen the hillside was to build an inverted bridge or an inverted tunnel, if you will. So we headed a bit further up and we're now heading towards Wilsdon and we came across the second cut and cover inverted bridge. And we couldn't get in from this side, as you can see, the door was well and truly sealed up. So what we did, again, we ventured all the way round the other side. And as luck would have it, the door was open. Thank God for that. Now something rather funny happened whilst me and Paul were venturing inside here. And that Rebecca seemed to attract a rather horny bull in the field behind. You may even hear it in the video. So let's go in this second cut and cover tunnel or inverted bridge. You can see again the uh, arch replicated on the top and the bottom. You can just see the curved sides. But the bottom of the track would have been filled in with ballast and soil as you can see there. So we were just trying to work out whether it was feasible to walk through or not. Now here you can see a small culvert in the wall. Now immediately I thought this has got to have had a pipe in it. And as we shone the torches in, you can see the pipe on the back side there. So I'll get you a closer look, there you go. You can see the old pipe there. So we believe this may have been some kind of a drainage system, or maybe even had a pump in there at one point to pull out all the water. So here we are venturing towards the bridge that remains just beyond the tunnels. Again, you can see it's nice and intact and it just carries a lane over the field, from field to field there. 
So this is where we left the White Wicks. So this is the last footage you will see that I took two years ago with the White Wicks. So now let's cut to present day. So here's me making my way along the route a bit further up towards Wilsdon Station. Now here we've got a bridge. This bridge carries Wally Lane, which I'm currently driving on underneath it. And the railway obviously passed overhead. Now I'm going to send the drone up in a second just to show you the line from the last bridge that we saw because I'm now going to make my way round towards Wilsdon Station and carry on from there on foot. So again there you can see the Wally Lane Bridge. And if you just look to the left you can see the line continuing towards or back towards Denholm Station. And just beyond there is where those cut and cover tunnels were. And then back the other way. So this is now looking towards Wilsdon Station. Again, you can see the Hewenden Viaduct just in the background there. Again, we will get to that soon, but not in this video. It's also worth a mention that just beyond there, there was a short branch line that led off the main line towards a Book Park quarry, which was just up on the hillside there. And just to finish these drone shots, I'm going to get you a nice sweeping view towards the Wally Lane Bridge. I'm always trying to improve my drone shots, so this is me practicing. Okay, so let's make our way round to Wilsdon Station, and now I'm going to be on foot. So we're going to start here at the Station Hotel. Now this used to be the original hotel for the station just down the hill. How would you have known? So here we are, we've reached Wilsdon Station and I'm currently stood on the bridge just beyond the station and the road behind me is aptly named Station Road. Now the station is behind me here and today it is a private property or private premises, the whole site is used for storage and other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the drone up and I'm going to try and get as close to the station as I can just to show you what remains because I do believe the station buildings still remain today which is quite rare on this route here. Now just after the station and after this bridge that I'm stood on now it then ventures out onto an, another marvellous viaduct which is quite impressive. And this is as close as we can get onto the Wilsdon station site. I'll just zoom in you can see one of the old buildings still standing just at the back there. Like I said, it's now private property. So we're gonna get the drone up and I'm gonna point out some things that still remain today at Wilsdon Station. we're here I'm just going to show you this is Station Road and I'm just going to show you how far the station would have been again from Wilsdon now I believe it's about two miles away if you just look up here this is Station Road again and Wilsdon is beyond that hillside over there so as you can see just like Queensbury this is a fair trek from the town to the station itself so you can see why a lot of these stations never actually worked. There's some cottages here as well, which still stand today, which were here when the station was open. And the same for those ones just down there. So here's the remains of the bridge, as you can see here on Station Road. 
and today this is now the Great Northern Railway Trail or something like that. You can come and cycle over here now, including the viaduct. Uh, you can go that way. So let's just peer over the wall. So this is looking towards Wilsdon Station. And as you can see, it's all completely filled in now. Now it's hard to believe, but we are looking at this picture, which I'm going to fade in now from this exact spot on the bridge looking towards Wilsdon Station and you can see the goods shed on the far side at the back and also the station building right in the middle there on both sides and as we zoom back out it's so hard to believe that this is how it looks today all filled in and overgrown I've just moved a bit further round and you can see the uh, bridge wall just there. But yeah, this cutting on this side is not filled in, which is great. And I'll just zoom in again onto a wall down there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there is the remains of a wall. Now, it looks like a station platform, but it isn't. But the station was much further down, a couple of hundred yards further down. So I can't see that, but it could be just maybe a goods loading platform or something like that. So I've just ventured down towards the viaduct and as you can see, it's actually open access into the cutting here. The fence has all been knocked down and the gate's wide open. So I'm going to venture in just a little bit and see how close I can get to the bridge up here. So here you go. We did make it down to the bridge. So it just walked straight through. I didn't think it'd be that easy, but as you can see behind me, the bridge still intact. So let's have a closer look at this bridge. So there you go, you can see the landfill there just on the other side. So it has been filled in. It's getting a bit closer for you. And it's now restrained with this uh, old sleeper wall by the looks of it. Yeah, definitely. These are all railway sleepers here. As you can see, it's still got the bolt holes in for the chairs. These are now holding back this banking. So again, straight ahead here would have been Wilsdon Station. Very strange to see it like this. A couple of big sleepers there as well. But yeah, we made it underneath the bridge anyway, which is a good thing. And then the line heads straight out through this cutting here. Bit of a closer look there at the stonework. It all looks in very good condition, I must say. And then here's the platform edge or the wall that I was talking about up there. You can clearly see it now. But like I said, the station was on the other side of the bridge. So I don't think this is anything to do with a platform of any sort. So I've just checked on the maps and there's definitely nothing mentioned about this platform here or this wall. So I think it is just a retaining wall to hold this uh, banking back here. But anyway, let's make our way out of the cutting and head towards the fantastic Huendon Viaduct. <laughs> <laughs> 